Welcome to our course SAP Materials Management. In this session, we will be discussing MRP4 view. Here we will be talking about BOM explosion, discontinuous indicator, and component scrap details. Before going to the session, let us see the answers for previous session. Which are the strategy groups used for make to stop? 10, 11, and 40. Which are the strategy groups used for procure to stock? Here also the same 10, 11, and 40. Because whether it is make to stock or procure to stock, it is for stocking purpose where we do the forecasting and do it. Right? So please don't get miscarried away uh, because of this make to stock or procure to stock. Both are same. Make to stock means you are producing inside, procure to stock is you are buying from outside. What is the difference between strategies 10 and 11? See, strategy 10 is called as net requirement planning. That is, it is covering, it is uh, considering the available stock. Whereas 11 is called as a gross requirement, where it does not consider the available stock. What is the significance of strategy 40? See, strategy 40 will act as both MTS and the MTO. So, when the orders are less than the plan, system will plan for the PAR that is a plant quantity and until the time it is a make to stock when the order is more than this plan then system will plan for the orders so at that time it will act as a make to order so this is the peculiar uh, characteristic of strategy 40 which strategy was discussed in this session for MTO ETO so there are many strategies for this make to order but we discussed 20 as a strategy for make to order and engineer to order should we need a plan for ETO MTO items? No. In ETO or MTO items, the order itself will act as a plan. What is the replenishment lead time for externally procured items? For externally procured items, replenishment lead time is planned delivery lead time. For in-house production items, it is based on the either work scheduling view time or in the in-house production time or the replenishment lead time in MRP3 that uh, uh, sequence we explained in the last session but for the purchase items whatever it is the planned procurement time plus gr processing time that is the replenishment lead time so after discussing uh, basic view purchasing views mrp 1 2 and 3 we are going to discuss mrp 4 view all four views of mrp are organization dependent so that's what that's why they are in the organization dependent area. MRP4 view contains the details related to manufacturing, like a BOM explosion, discontinuation of materials, component scrap, whether it is repetitive manufacturing or not. Those details are maintained in uh, this uh, MRP4 view. So MRP4 will have the individual and collective requirements, how to plan the dependent requirements individually or collectively, and then how to handle component scraps, and what is the impact of a production version, and how do we know it, and uh, how to handle the discontinued parts, how they are managed in Metal Master. So, first let us see that individual and collective requirements. So, when dependent metals are planned through MRP, whether we have to get the requirements either individually or for uh, collectively for example when you have these specific uh, special order stocks special orders or project orders they are dependent requirements whether we want to get them individually with respect to each requirement or we want to get them collectively that is why this field is used when we use the parameter one in this field then it will plan it individually for uh, for each uh, special orders the dependent requirement also will be planned individually when you use the parameter 2, then system will use, uh, it will collect the requirements and give us one proposal. When you leave it as blank, system will take the individual and collective requirements, depending on the strategy what we are using for the individual materials and also the parent products. So this will be very useful when we want to have the requirements either individually for each material so that we have got more clarity or no, no, we don't want to have these things individual materials. We want to see them collectively because we do not want to create many proposals. So this uh, value can be used in this parameter. And then component scrap. Why do you use this component scrap? You know that in manufacturing process, when you are processing some components, there may be scrap 
by design it will be there for example there is a big assembly when they are using uh, many uh, nuts and bolts the fasteners when you are tightening them there may be a lot of damages so in this course when if they are using 50 or 60 bolts in this machine two three may get damaged similarly when you are packing some bulk powder or bulk liquid the exact measurement it will be difficult for example if the measurement is 100 ml it may be 101 ml or if it is 100 grams it may be not 1 gram so when we do mrp planning we need to give uh, uh, an, an information to the system that this is what is going to happen there will be little bit higher material will be consumed for this and then we can give this in this component scrap like percentage so when we give this percentage as like for example 5 percent so when the requirement is 100 system will place 105 it will plant the material 105 so we don't miss out the material when there's some scrap is happening right and uh, this can be used in uh, this, I mean this scrap percentage can be maintained in, in the bill of metal also because the amount what is uh, scrap it may vary for the individual products also at times for example when you are producing product a in that the component may be scrapped at five pieces per hundred but when your product when you are producing the product b the same component may be wasted only two so at that time we can use the bill of material to define this scrap so there is a possibility to use this to define this parameter in bill of metal also but when it is common for all the products these components are scrapped in all the products in the same way we can use this in metal master production version is the combination of bill of material and a routing to produce one material if you have two different bill of material two different routings so if we can have four combinations right so that we can have different combination of the materials to produce a product in case of procurement especially in subcontracting production version is required to have a link between the product which is going to be subcontracted and its bill of material it is made as a mandatory in s4 hana so we need to maintain this production version when production version is created we can see this from metal master itself in mrp4 view the version indicator will show whether the version is created or not it will show the tick mark there and by clicking the production version button we can go into the production version itself we can see the details we will see whether it is valid or not and whether it is having which is validity date all these things we can see we will discuss in detail about production version when we go for the master data discussion like bill of material production version at that time we will discuss about it and then another thing is discontinued parts why do we use this see there are a lot of changes which are going uh, undergoing for products depending on customer expectations or technology change or there may be some new feature to be added some feature out to be removed like that in that case we will keep the bill of metal as it is but only one or two metals may be changed so one metal will be discontinued another metal will be added in this case we don't need to create a new bill of material if you are going to replace one component a with component b we can use these discontinued parts function so in this field now where it is showing as a discontinued indicator means the material what we are the where we are that metal is getting discontinued and then the effective out date is that from which date it is getting discontinued also we can mention here what is the follow-up material so here everything we can cover it so when this metal is replaced everywhere you no know, defining this in metal master itself is sufficient but if this metal is getting replaced in some specific bill of metal only not in all the material means this can be managed in bill of metal also this also we will discuss when we are discussing the bill of metal in detail so mrp4 we discuss these key parameters like individual and collective requirements component scrap production version and discontinued parts here we did not discuss this uh, repetitive manufacturing because we are focusing on discrete manufacturing uh, repetitive manufacturing will be discussing later after completing the entire course on this discrete manufacturing so let us see some quiz questions for this session what is the difference between component scrap percentage in mrp4 view and assembly scrap percentage in mrp1 view which are the master data linked in the production version for procurement that is subcontracting material x will be replaced with metal y from a specific date how to manage it so these are the questions for um, this session answers will be discussed in the next session 
in the next session we will discuss in detail various parameters in forecasting view meanwhile please create mrp4 view for the metals in the business case as part of the practice please give your feedback to improve the flow and contents of our course also please suggest your friends and colleagues to subscribe to our channel so they also get the benefit thank you see you in the next session take care bye